everyone and welcome back to our class. My name is Abdul Hakim. Today we are going to start with pivot table. Pivot table is one of the most powerful tools in Excel when it comes to data analysis. In numerous business situations, there are needs to analyze that is to slice and dice your data to gain some important insight. As you know, we have a chain stores that sell different products in each of the stores. We may have a hundreds of thousands of data to track in some cases. Pivot table is an excellent tool in Excel that lets you quickly summarize the data in almost any way imaginable. It helps you to organize the data, filter your data, summarize your data, and analyze your data in a very beautiful way. In this class, I'm going to cover some of the areas of pivot table, which includes what is pivot table, how to use pivot table to summarize the data, what pivot table layout are available in Excel, why is pivot table called pivot table, how to easily change the format in the pivot table, how to collapse and expand field, how to sort and filter pivot table field, how to summarize the pivot table, how does a slicer work, pivot table, and all this. So these are the areas we're going to look at under this topic. We're going to include pivot chart and slicer. So let's continue. Pivot table have some benefits, which includes being powerful. When it comes to data analysis, pivot table is a powerful tool in the sense that it helps you to uncover some insights to ensure that some key questions about your data are answered. It's also, it can provide you with a very beautiful report. That is, when you use the custom style that comes with pivot table and put some conditional formatting, it makes your report to be attractive. Also very fast, when you come to hundreds of thousands of data, you have your pivot table to analyze your data for you in a seconds. You have accuracy. Due to the fact that it's automated, this will reduce the human error that will come from manual calculation. Also, we have flexibility. When you work with pivot table, you can manipulate the table layout, change the views, collapse, expand format, and the rest. So they are be very dynamic, very useful when it comes to data format, data analysis. Now, the next question is, how to use pivot table to summarize your data? Let's use this data on the third sheet, then supermarket sales. Have this data of about 1,000 rows, in which you have the invoice ID, the branch. Here we have about three branches, A, B, and C. Here we have Yang going to be A, Mandalay to be B, and the C. Then we have the customer types, which include normal customer and members. We have male and we have female under gender. The product line, then we have about four product lines or five. We have support and travel, homes and this, electronics, support and travel, and the rest. Then we have the unit price. We have the quantity sold and the tax element of it, total price. Then we have the date here. We have time, the payment method. Here we have credit card or cash or e-wallet. So we have the cost of goods sold, 
gross profit margin gross income gross income is the profit from each of the transactions where we have the total sales and as the total cost of goods sold then we have finally we have rating now what we want to look at is how to use your paper table to summarize your data let's click anywhere any part of this table go to insert and click paper table before we use the blank let's use the recommended paper table we have this now we have these are the samples that exerting I guess suggest that we may look we may need for this particular data so let's click one see within the seconds we see that we have our report ready this we have from each of the states each of the city now we have the some this total sales from each of this city that's how to summarize your report we may decide that okay you don't want to see the city now see here we have the field so you can just come to this place and you remove the city from your report now we have the sum of the total this is total sales for the period let's check if this figure is correct we have 322.966 you come to this where we have the total so you see that what we have there is 322.966 next i have what people table layout are available in excel when you work with pivot table in excel there are different layout that you can use in showcasing your report let's go back to our report here here we have the total let's say let's take the date put the date here now and uh, let's look at the uh, in the under the column let's put the customer type the customer type or gender let's use gender that the Column. Then you can put. Let's say we want to put the city here also. So you see that now, if you expand this, you see that we have each of the city under each heading. Under January now, January, January one, you have this. January two, you have this. We may decide to remove the date to have just the month. So, and generally now we have this Mandalay, Nevite, and Yango. These are the three cities that we have here. Now, when you come to layout, when you click the design, immediately you click any part of the preferred table. You will see this. Pivot table field, and you see the power of the pivot table tools. When you click anything, when you click outside the table, both disappeared. So, when you click this, you have your analyze. Analyze, we have all this, and we have the design. Now, to look at your report layout, you click on your design, and you have various type of designs here. But here, under the layout, we have the compact form, the outline form, and the tabular form. Let's see how they look like. We have the compact form, which is what we are using currently now. Now let's try the outline form. See now, the outline change the city from under the mount. See, we have this. This is applicable to February and all other months. Also, we can have the third layout, which is tabular form. Let's click on tabular form. You see that it has changed from the it has changed from the outline 
to the tabular form. So these are the three forms of layout that are available under Excel. Then we have this. Why? Why is a pivot table called pivot table? Why? You see from our report, the reason why we call it pivot table is this. It's very easy when you come to changing from column to row to look to see how your report will actually look like. You can easily change things very quickly under the pivot table. Now let's change. Let's take our month and put the month under column. You see that immediately you have your report changing. Now you can you can decide to change the look. Okay, let's look at it from this perspective. You change your column to row, change your row to column. You look at how your report is going to look like. So these are part of the reasons why it is called pivot table. Then we have how to easily change how to easily change the format in pivot table. In pivot table, we have formatting, which is in Excel. It's just like the normal formatting in Excel. Click on any of the figure, then you click number format. Let's use number. Is this what? Just one decimal place. Then click OK. You see, we have everything formatted immediately. That's how formatting works on the Excel. The next thing here is how to collapse an expand field. Now, you see, we have this minus here. This minus signifies that you can collapse it. If you want to collapse it, you click the minus. You see it coll it's collapsing. The male and female options are collapsing. Okay, let's say you want to change it from uh, male and female. Let's put the product type. Let's remove this. And we have the product line. Let's expand it. So when you expand it, you see the submission from each of the month. And let's remove the month. See the total. The annual total for each of from each of the cities. Here we have the branch, other branch, yeah, you have another branch. So now that's how to collapse and expand. Let's collapse it again. When you click the minus, it's collapsing. And then when you click the plus, it expands. That's how to collapse and expand data field in Excel in the pivot table. Then we have sorting. Sorting also, just like we will sort on that table. We have a sorting. Go, click the arrow here and uh, let's sort by set to heat. See, so we have from spot to heat, S to C, and you can set to change it again, change from uh, A to Z or any other custom settings, just as you can do on the, the normal table in Excel. Also, filter, you can also filter. Using the same method, but in under pivot table, you have a better option of doing filtering. That is by making use of this where we have the filter. Let's say in this case, let's use the customer type to filter it. Not to filter. So immediately you push the filter here, you see here in the cell A1 here, you see your filtering conditions there. So let's say we have this. We have members or number. I want to know the members, the total sales 
that comes from members only just click on this click ok so you see that here we have members and we only have the sales that come from members only and we want to know how much comes from the normal customers so we have click normal here we are 164 before now we have 158 so if you clear this select all then we have the three one three two nine six six that's how to use sorting and filtering on the pivot table